Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube video with Ben on Today's daf is Nazir Daf Dal, number four. Um, a very fundamental share today. I want to talk about the philosophy behind Naziris. We know in Nazir, with the exception of Nazir Shimshon, um, has three basic isurim that he takes on himself. He can't drink wine or anything product that comes from a grape. Um, he also can't be metamal He can't go into a cemetery. And the third thing is that um, he can't cut his hair, he has to grow his hair long. When he completes his nazirus, then he shaves his head. Says he completely shaves his head. So, but those are the three things when you become a nazir. So there's a lot of discussion what a nazir is. Is a nazir considered a beautiful thing? Is it considered, you know, the, I believe I heard from the Evan, the Evan Ezra on the Pasuk and nazirus, which is mentioned in the beginning of Sefer by Midbar, Parshish Nasa, I believe. Um, Ishki Yafli Lindor Nezer Nazir Hasha Yafli. It's an interesting word Yafli is like a pella, like a wonder. And then it says it's a wonder. It's an amazing thing that a Nazir does that he's willing to forgo these things, you know, for the sake of, you know, becoming a holier person. A nazir becomes a holier person. Rather, we learn the Andab Bayes, right? The reason that Mesechus Nazir is mentioned in, Mese- in Seder Nashim is that women who see a soda, Bekalkula, the Shigazjat from the Yan, should. Preclude themselves from drinking wine because a lot of times when you become intoxicated, you commit adultery. So it's a good thing. It's a safeguard against committing adultery. Tamala Mason, um, not cutting, you know, growing your hair long. If you cut your hair, your hair is going to look nice. So also, you know, you're going to attract men. Um, if you're Matamala Mason, if you, if you, Matamala Mason, while you go to bury them, you might meet men over there. I don't know. I'm just extending. The concept of Yain over there. So it's a safeguard. It's, Evan Ezra says an amazing thing that he took upon himself. The word Nezer is like a crown. It means like a crown. He took a crown upon himself. Seemingly, it's a good thing to take Now, it doesn't say, like it says in the Dharam, that it's a kol ha no dar kilu bana bama. If you take a, a nether, it's like you build a bama outside the base of the You're not allowed to do that. And if you're Makai, you're nether, it's kilu hikir love carbon. It's like you're makir carbon. So it doesn't say that this is a bad thing. It sounds like the Gemara in that base is a good thing. Um, on the other hand, you could say it's a bad thing, right? Like a nether. It's a, Nazirus is a type of a nether. We learned in the Sachs and Dharam. So is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing? So I want to base this discussion on a Gemara on Dalanum and Bez, which is really a Gemara that was quoted in Sachs and Dharam, on uh, Yud, where the Gemara says, Shimon Tzadik, towards the bottom of Dalanum and Bez, he said, Asham Nazir He never ate from a carbon asham of a Nazir Tame because a Nazir is considered a sinner, right? We're going to see that Nazir Kapar says he was seer asham and I didn't forget to mention that. It's actually a bad thing taking the Zeros because, you know, Hashem allowed you to have wine and you're causing yourself pain. And most people want to drink wine or drink products with alcohol or grapes. So you're causing pain to yourself. So. You know, he wasn't a, he wasn't very happy, especially with Nazirim who became Tame. But a lot of times they became Tame and then they regret their Nazirus or they violate their Nazirus. Except one case, he found someone who was very beautiful, a man, a boy who was very beautiful, he was very handsome, and he saw his reflection and he wanted to go model. <laughs> he, he was his Yetzir Hara took hold of him and wanted him to miss God, to be arrogant about his looks. And he said, I'm going to become a Nazir from now on. He said, uh, you know, I'm going to die. So I'm, he says, Havoda shagal I'm going to come in the Nazir, and after the completion of the Nazirus, I will shave my head. Now, in in the middle of the story, when Shimon HaTzadik saw this person, he says to him, He saw him with the beautiful hair. He says, why are you destroying your hair? Now, what does he mean, why are you destroying your hair? So the art scroll says, why are you destroying your hair? So I'll quote from the art scroll. Um... Why have you seen fit to destroy this beautiful hair? Number 25, a Nazir is required to shave his head entirely at the end of his term. He was referencing at the end of your Nazirist, right? You're going to grow your hair long, and then you're going to shave your head. It looks bad to shave your head. You know, shave your head completely, like Menachem Toker. <laughs> no, he is. Um, or Andrew Tate. Um, actually, Andrew Tate, you know, in jail. His hair goes back a little bit. You see why he shaved his head. Um, it looks bad. So that, that's... So, it sounds from the story that when you grow long hair, it's beautiful. Now, right? That's the the, the translation, the, the explanation Archibald gives. Now, the problem I have with this is because 
you know, you know, it sounds like the way I would explain it, right? My brother Shach is there now. Is it why are you ruining your hair by growing it long? You're ruining your 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 you're ruining your hair, right? You destroy your beautiful hair by growing it long. It does not look good for a man to have long hair, in my opinion, right? Women have long hair. Men should not have long hair. They should cut their hair. You know, when Jacob Degrom cut his hair, he looked much better. You know, he has this long hair. You know, a lot of athletes have long hair, but um, the best thing to do is to cut your hair to look, you know, groomed. So that's what I would have said. If that's the case, what I'm saying is true, right? You destroy your hair by becoming Nazir. That means Nazirus is, you know, making yourself disgusting, which is true, right? When you grow your hair long, you're disheveled. You can't even shave. You got a long beard. It looks bad, you know? People who are groomed, they cut their, they trim their beard or they shave their beard. Um, they cut their hair. That's normal. It makes you look good. You look disgusting when you become a Nazir. Um, similarly, also, when you don't drink wine, you don't have the ability to drink grape juice or wine. I don't know, if, you know, in this, on other people's eyes, it makes you disgusting. But, you know, in your eyes, you feel pretty bad. See your ass when they A lot of people want to drink wine or at least kind of grape juice. Also, can't drink as another. Comes from grapes. So you're causing yourself pain, which makes you feel bad internally. You look bad on the outside with long hair. And Tamala Mason, came with Tamala Mason, even though you would say maybe, you know, it's better, it's more Mechobedic not to go into a cemetery, but like we learn many times that if you honor the dead people, right, the Gmarin Ksuba says, the Gmarin Dharm says, then then other people are going to bury you. If you engage in burying people, then people are going to treat you with the same respect. Kavod Ames, Kavod Abrios. So you want to go into a cemetery because you'll be honored by other people that when you die, you'll be buried. And also it looks good in the eyes of the public. People who escort other people to their burial, you know, you're um, a part of the community. You're part of someone who cares about other people that, you know, you're next to or you're part of that community. So these are all things which make you a respectable person, both in the eyes of yourself and both in how, both in the eyes of other people and both in terms of internally how you feel. So a Nazir, I don't think, Nazir is exactly the opposite, even though Nazir sounds like a crown. It's like, an, it's a term of Nether, and, you know, it's even more discouraged, I think, than actually a Nether because, you know, there you can't eat one piece of meat, you know, but here, you know, you can't drink wine, you can't cut your hair, you can't have that one them. It's kind of disgusting. It makes you feel disgusting. And, right, and that's, this, you know, the story from this person. He he became a Nazir, right, to protect him from his good looks, right? That's that, This makes sense, right? He looked too good. So he said, I'm going to grow my hair long. I'm not going to look good. Not that the shachet sar nazeh, you're destroying your hair at the end of your nazir when you go shave your head. We don't think about that. He'll shave his head, the hair will grow back. No, he destroyed his hair by letting it grow long and looking, you know, disgusting, you know. So that's really what I think nazir is. Nazir is a bad thing. Like Mara says, in many places, it's a bad thing. It makes you feel bad internally. It makes other people look at you in a disgusting way. And it shouldn't be used. Only maybe in this instance where a person, he ate her was was revving up on him, on his conscience. So maybe that's a good time to take an Aziris. Otherwise, not a good time to make an Aziris. And Yafli, it's a wonder that this person took upon himself such harsh things when he really doesn't have to do it. Hashem wants life to be easy. Don't make life hard for yourself. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.